What's going on, guys? Uh, we got fresh coating a couple inches of snow last night. I got the truck plugged in. See how good I am one-handed. Nailed it! All right, plan for today. We're gonna take a trip. Uh, where are we going? I'll tell you where we're going. We're going to get a cattle trailer. So my mother-in-law and father-in-law uh, decided to buy a 16 foot bumper pool feather light. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go pick it up. So a lot of people might be asking like, you've had a farm, a dairy, all that stuff for so long, how could you not have a cattle trailer? Well, in the past, we would work with uh, you know a couple people when we had to sell our bull calves or, or whatever we needed to buy some we would we would work with a couple people you know to get those cows and bring them to the farm and 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 do it that way more recently you know when we were taking now our beef cows to the butcher uh, it, we would work with the neighbor uh, you know I've said it once and I'll say it a thousand times we have some of the best neighbors that you could ever ask for. And, you know, our neighbors would haul the cows for us, or if we needed them to go to the auction, they would haul them down there. Just outstanding people. It's finally time for us to get our own and not be relying on the neighbors. Uh, but for all the times that they've helped us, you, you can't ask for, for better people. All right, so now we gotta find where this trailer's at. Don't see it yet. There she be. Nailed it. Oh gosh, she's home. Got everything set up. Backed it in here just in time to uh, buy some new cows. All right, the plan now. I am on my way over to another farm. This is the farm that we purchased the cattle from. Um, the vet is there. Um, these bulls uh, are a little bit larger than what I like to gum band. So the vet is going to cut them before we pick them up tomorrow. So follow along, should be fun. So for those of you who don't know uh, what it takes to rubber band or gum band a, a uh, bull or cut a bull, um, it is the act of taking off the testicles. So what you'll do with a rubber bander is you put a put a uh, rubber band on a on a uh, pair of pliers and they w work in reverse so as you squeeze them they open up you pull the testicles down through and then you let let the uh, pressure off of your hand and then pull the gum band off and you get you know leave the rubber band but take the uh, take the wrench off I guess is what you would call it or the stretcher off um, We'll just say the tool. Take the tool off. Um, and then cutting, that's something that I've personally never done. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try to see if we can get that on film. Might be kind of gross. I didn't shoot any of it because it was gross. <coughs> My lord, is it bright outside. So give a little update yesterday uh, we went I went over to the farm where we bought the cows and their steers from and the vet was there to uh, snip them cut them whatever you want to call it and uh, 
Yeah, so we were going to haul cows today, but the vet said, how about you just let them hang out for a day or two to calm down, um, mellow out, and everything like that. So we decided we're gonna wait until Monday or Tuesday of next week to go get the cows. Hey, you just gotta roll with it, you know? So we're gonna feed cows instead. Oh, she's cold. Forgot to plug it in. Come on, baby. There we go. So one of the things with <clears throat> a diesel, you gotta keep it plugged in in the winter time. It's easier for it to start. You don't have to, but it's easier for it to start. And uh, yeah, I moved the tractor yesterday because I had to get the little John Deere out and I forgot to plug it back in. So I'm gonna let her warm up a little bit before I take, take it down the farm. It's a good practice, I guess. Man, I'm not used to how bright it is. Sun's out. Pennsylvania, that's like a holiday when the sun comes out, in the winter time at least. So I had some, <clears throat> I had a person message me on uh, one of the, the previous videos I did around hay you know, kind of like what I sell it for and stuff like that. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to give you exactly what I sell my hay for uh, because that's a conversation between myself and my customer. Uh, but I can give you an average uh, of what they what it should go for. And, you know, this year being a little bit different than other years, prices seem to have gone up. I didn't, I personally did not take my prices up any, but I know a lot of other farms did. Round bells. Ours are four by five brown bills, so not big. I mean, I think some of the bigger ones you can get six by six, if I'm not mistaken. So gigantic round bills. Ours are four by five. First cutting average about that 850-ish range if you make a full bale. Um, reason I know that is I used to ship hay to a mushroom farm, uh, and they would compost the hay down, and they paid you per ton. First cutting round bills, four to five round bills, they can average anywhere between, I've seen them as low as $20. Um, I've seen them as high as barn cap ones being in the 40s, sometimes even 45, depending on you know what kind of hay it is. Uh, second cut round bills, four to fives. I've seen you know bottom end 45, I've seen top end. 65 70 depending on you know how they're stored silage bales four to five round bales i would say you know i've seen them twenty dollars and i've seen them forty dollars so rough estimate first cut square bales um i've seen some as low as uh three dollars i've seen others as high as five and then lastly, second cut, third cut, etc. cetera, uh, square bells. I've seen anywhere from $5 all the way to $8. Um, it really depends on where you're at. It depends on what the type of hay quality is. And truthfully, as the age old saying goes, something's only worth what someone else is willing to pay. So yeah, hope that answers your question and uh, keep the questions coming. I like responding to stuff like that. I take some of this stuff for granted, but if you guys have questions, ask them. Ooh, she's heavy. Put it in gear. There we go.
cut the strings off here before I go. And bun and hurt proof fed and that's it for feeding cows today back on the other subject about the cost for for hay and all that stuff so each farm's different right overheads different for each person in each entity um, a lot of it comes down to what area you're raising your crop in what the availability for hay is you know as, as a couple years ago, I didn't have zero, I had zero customers. I had, I mean, everybody here didn't have any interest in making square bills. And then after we did, we found out, you know, what kind of market was there for it. So, but yeah, everyone's different. What I'm saying is not gospel. You know, certain places, I'm sure in the United States has a huge abundance of small square bells and you can get them cheap. Other places, they're probably very rare, so each place is a little bit different. I'll back it in. Put a little bit of salt down on the driveway so it's not as slippery. 